Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the Hybrid Cloud Summit 2017 from IDC in Frankfurt and here with me is Richard Munro, he's responsible for cloud services at VMware. I saw your presentation, you had very some, very some interesting topics. You talked about moving applications into the cloud without downtime. How is this possible? Yeah, so, um, so it's a very popular thing to do, obviously, if you talk about the speed of how can we get things done fast, the, the idea that you can just move an application into the cloud without any downtime, without any impacts and changes is, is very appealing, and obviously so. Um, the secret is not just in having a, a compatible cloud. So a VMware cloud is going to be compatible with what you have today. The real secret is, is in the networking layer. Um, we use uh, VMware technology, software-defined networking called NSX. And vCloud Air uh, takes advantage of that. Um, and we put capabilities on top of that software-defined networking layer so that you can just very quickly deploy a small piece of software um, that effectively creates um, a layer two stretch. Now what that means if people aren't technical is exactly that you can move an application. The IP address, how everything finds it, doesn't change. So it doesn't impact anything else. So that's how you can actually move things in and out of uh, VMware Hybrid Cloud like vCloud Air without any downtime. And I actually have customers who sometimes struggle to get approval to put something in the cloud because everyone's very uh, cautious of it. And I actually have customers who just do it anyway and they don't tell anyone. <laughs> so I don't condone that, but that's the level of compatibility we're talking about. We noticed that you even have now VMware out of AWS. How is this possible? How is it important for the customer? Yeah, so I think it's a really important part of the VMware message is that you know we, we think multi-cloud is real. We think you should be using AWS. <clears throat> we think you should uh, look to extend and modernize your existing capabilities. So we, we want you to use all clouds, the ones that are right for you. So we've been working with um, you know, hyperscale providers like AWS anyway. In, in vCloud Air, a lot of customers route their networking through vCloud Air to get to AWS so that they have very deep security inspection over, over, those, uh, over those traffic flows. But you know, um, AWS is clearly the number one in the uh, public cloud market. VMware is number one in the private cloud market and for both of us our customers were just saying I wish you guys would work together <laughs> so we did um, so what we announced is a capability where you can have a VMware stack inside the AWS cloud so this is going to be great for scenarios where you want VMware based applications interfacing deeply at the application level with services running in Amazon can we expect this uh, VMware stack even in Asia or in Google Clouds or one of these other hyperscalers? Well, v so VMware has a multi-cloud approach. So obviously, you know, the one we're focusing on right now is getting that launch done for uh, AWS. But you know, we've already partnered with uh, other cloud providers like IBM uh, on Bluemix Cloud, right? Who have the VMware software-defined data center as a service. Um, <coughs> so we are really looking to embrace the multi-cloud world. And yes, we are working and helping our customers customers integrate with all of the major cloud providers. Uh, you said procurement uh, models holds companies hold people back. What do you mean by this? Yeah, so most of the challenges, this is my, my, my belief in, in what I see and observe that when people say legacy, right, it's not really an application or a piece of hardware, it's a delivery model. Now we've we, we understand, you know, inherently that uh, kind of typical on-premises delivery models, we have ITIL, we have change control, things like that, right? But actually one of the biggest things I come across is the traditional IT approach to procurement. And in that model, you're expected to do five-year analyses and all these kind of things before you take the first step. And that's understandable when the cost of failure is really high, right? Because you want to analyze everything to make sure you don't fail if the cost is high. So when you think about classic IT projects, getting that wrong is, is expensive in time, cost, all the rest of it. But in the cloud world, that's just not true. Right? So regardless of whether you're talking about standing up services on AWS or if you want to stand up some services on vCloud Air, the cost of failure is very light. It's cloud. If it's not worked, it's gone. Right? That, that's out of the way. And the importance of adopting cloud is that you can't really tell what you're going to do as an organization with cloud capability over the next few years 
until you've got your hands dirty, until you've started trying to apply this new capability to all the things that you're trying to do as a, as a business, then you start understanding how you're going to evolve and what kind of things are going to change. So it's very important to get going, to get going, to learn for yourself uh, what it is you need to do. And, you know, the upfront, I need all the analysis done for procurement um, can be a real struggle for people. So, you know, it's very good when people can actually just say, we need an innovation sandbox, we just need to get going, maybe relax those procurement rules for that initial purchase, um, just so that people can prove what it is they want to do, prove the capability and get that experience to start longer term planning. Thank you. A very interesting viewpoint. This was Richard Munro from VMware and we are here at the IDC Hybrid Cloud Summit and you find more interviews on our website, on our YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting. Till the next time. Thank you.